Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a project here that I'm working on, uh, fixing up uh, my trailer. And as you can see, the jack on this trailer has been damaged. Um, was helping a friend out. We were doing some uh, hauling of dirt and we needed a dump. I don't have a dump trailer. And so my friend was trying to pick up the front of the trailer and managed to uh, get, get the uh, the forks in there and, and we damaged the the jack so I need to replace that today so that's what I'm gonna work on now and I thought I'd bring you along for that project all right so I'm obviously not gonna be able to get in here with this racket though that's not gonna work let's see if I can yeah hope I'm how am I gonna get this off of here <clears throat> You know, but while I'm thinking about it, we probably need this jacked up with something else. Can't take the jack that's holding it up off. Let me, uh, let me pause the recording and I'm going to go grab a jack. Okay, so we've got our high lift jack out back here in the background. You might see it uh, holding the trailer up to get the weight off of the tongue. And now we're just going to work on getting these bolts out. They're just three bolts that are uh, holding this jack in place. I'm ho hoping that the uh, the tongue itself didn't get damaged at all and it's just the, the plate where the jack is. I have a new jack that I picked up. I'm hoping that this will work out. It should be a fairly easy fix. Uh, sometimes I've seen uh, these trailer jacks where they're welded on. Uh, mine's not. Mine looks to be bolted on here. Uh, it's something that anybody that has a trailer should be able to do. Hmm? Which is nice because when it's broken, you can take it off. Yep. Okay. If it's broke, you can take it off. It gets harder as you crank it up because it, the, the shaft actually got bent on it. In addition to the, the metal frame getting bent of the jack. The jack itself got bent a little bit, but it never used to be this hard to crank it up, especially when there's no weight on it at all. So that's good. Uh oh. Move your foot. All right, old jack is out. That's it. It goes that way. It goes that way, right there, like that there. That'll fit. Looks good. If only I had the bolts. And we're gonna try and see if we can't bend this back up a little bit. With our pry bar. There we go. Like that worked out. Slide this right back down in there. Make sure it lines up. And now we went and bought some replacement bolts. These are grade eight bolts, three eighths, exact same size that came out of there. It's a three eight bolt, three eighths of an inch uh, size thread or thread size bolt. So I'm just kind of trying to get them all started. Hope they all go back in there. Hope the threads aren't too damaged. All right, I'll just try and do this by hand for right now. Get these going. Never fails, a half hour project turns into an hour and a half because I have to go get something. The jack, uh, in case anybody's wondering, uh, I got it Tractor Supply if I hadn't already said that. And it's, uh, it was I think about $45, $47, something like that for the replacement jack. And they sell all kinds of them. They sell different ones, ones that swivel up and all kinds of stuff. 
but I needed the one that specifically was for uh, the, with this tri triangular plate on it for mounting on the tongue. Because that's what I had, so that's what I was looking for. And they have to have have to have one. I think it's rated for does it say on here five thousand pounds. So that should be plenty. I believe that's what was on here. This trailer itself, I think, has, looks like it has a max maximum weight of uh, 8,000 pounds. Anyway, all right, that should work better. As it's uh, smaller, you know, it doesn't have all that bulk to it, so I should be faster to. Today's sponsor is uh, Tractor Supply Company because uh, they happen to be close by. Okay, so. I'm hoping that this is in frame, I don't know. Uh, the company that makes the, uh, the jack here also makes a removable foot for the jack. And so I went ahead and picked one of those up because uh, we have gravel. And so sometimes this will fall down. It'll fall, fall off of the tractor when I'm, when I'm uh, moving it around sometimes. If we don't lock it down, if we forget that. And so oftentimes this will get full of dirt or stones or whatever. And so I thought, well, if they sell a foot, let's get the foot for it. That way, that'll eliminate that issue. That way, when it falls, or if it falls, or when it falls, because inevitably it will fall, it's got something there. And on top of that, when we bring our, uh, our blocking in uh, to jack it up with, or jack it up on to help spread the weight out, it gives it a nice, nice place. So let's try this jack out. It definitely doesn't make all that noise that the other one did. You can twirl it around with one finger. All right, we've made contact. So now we should be able to get this to go up and get it off of our farm jack, or high lift jack, rather. Just like that, we've replaced it. Now it sits straight, flat, and I think that's great. Successful. And that's it. That's the project. It was quick. Didn't take us long. We needed uh, three bolts. And, uh, and this jack. Next time, I plan on uh, doing some more wiring uh, on the trailer. Like I mentioned before, I plan on doing a little bit of rewiring uh, for this plug. Uh, I've got a kind of a special contraption that uh, I plan on showing that uh, we'll get hooked in here and we'll, we'll get ourselves all set up with a nice plug, plug system for uh, hooking up the electrics and that should be it. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time. And thanks for hanging with Harv.